Lamy's theorem is a very useful principle that is used for performing static analysis for mechanical and structural systems. Lamy's theorem is formulated by Professor Bernard Lamy, a French mathematician. Now let's try and understand what this Lamy's theorem is all about. Consider an object on which three forces are acting, force A, force B and force C. The angle that is directly opposite to force A is alpha. The angle opposite to B is beta and the angle opposite to C is gamma. According to Lamy's theorem, force A is proportional to the sine of the angle that is directly opposite to it, which is alpha. In other words, A is proportional to sine alpha. Similarly, B is proportional to sine beta and C is proportional to sine gamma. Let us write this as an equation. A by sine alpha is equal to B by sine beta that is equal to C by sine gamma. Lamy's theorem states that if three coplanar concurrent and non-collinear forces act upon an object and the object still remains in static equilibrium, then A by sin alpha is equal to B by sin beta that is equal to C by sin gamma, where A, B and C are the numerical values of the three forces that are acting on the body and alpha, beta and gamma are the angles directly opposite to forces A, B and C respectively. Now let's take a look at a couple of practical real world problems that you can solve using Lamy's theorem. So let's take the first example. Consider a crane that is carrying a load. The weight of the load pulls the load downwards. A compression force acts on the jib that is the frame of the crane. A tension force acts across the tie rod. So there are three forces, three concurrent, coplanar and non-collinear forces acting in this case. So you can use Lamy's theorem to calculate the unknown forces and angles. Supposing you know uh, the values of some, for some of these forces and some of these angles, you can use Lamy's theorem to calculate the unknown values of the forces and angles. Now let's take a look at another example. Consider a light assembly that is suspended from the ceiling of a room. Assume that the assembly is tied to the wall using a horizontal string. In this case, the weight of the light assembly pulls the assembly downwards. A horizontal load acts across the string that ties the light assembly to the wall. Similarly, there is one more tensile load that acts along the wire that is used to suspend the light assembly. So, you can use Lamy's theorem to calculate unknown forces and angles, assuming you know the values of some of the forces and angles. Now, let's take a look at the limitations of this Lamy's theorem. Limitation number one, Lamy's theorem is applicable only where there are three forces acting on the object. You cannot apply this theorem if you have more than three forces or less than three forces. Exactly three forces should be there for you to apply Lamy's theorem. Limitation number two, Lamy's theorem is only applicable for coplanar forces. Coplanar forces are the forces that act along the same plane. All three forces should be acting on the same plane. Limitation number three. Lamy's theorem is only applicable for concurrent forces. That is, 
the forces that pass through a same point. You can see that the three forces shown in this figure are passing through a single point. So these forces are concurrent forces. Limitation number four. Lamy's theorem is applicable for non-collinear forces only. Non-collinear forces are the forces that do not act across the same line. The three forces in this case, in this figure, are non-collinear. They act across different lines. Limitation number 5. Lamy's theorem is applicable only if the object on which the forces are acting is in static equilibrium. Which means the object is balanced by the three forces and the object is not moving, it is still. 